clearly, I'm not asking people to vote for me simply because I'm a woman. I'm asking people to vote for me on the merits. And I think one of those merits is I'm a woman. And I can bring those views and perspectives to the White House. Clearly, I'm not asking people to listen and believe me simply because I'm a woman. I'm asking people to listen and believe me on the merits. And I think one of those merits is I'm a woman. And I could bring those views and perspectives to video games. Listen and believe. Just listen and believe? What happened about treating people as equals? Are we really going to just listen and, and believe because someone's a woman and while doing so going to muddy the waters between the sexes so there's no such thing as being a man and to prove it we're going to go back in time and Doc Brown's DeLorean and wipe men from existence? You really need to be classified as having a mental disorder if you find it reasonable to retroactively rescript old movies to remove friend to remove men from their roles. That people who actually pat themselves on the back after doing so is so deeply troubling and condescending as to say we are better people because we can rearrange people in our society like you can rearrange furniture in a room. The difference being many of us don't think you should discard a floor lamp because the color of its shade doesn't go along with your racial sensibilities. Taking a new course is more desirable and feasible than backtracking so you can remove, remove landmarks and road signs. It has often been remarked that there isn't a parody in police officers, firemen, or iron workers, and miners, or roughneck oil workers, and car mechanics. There is not a parody of men and women in the NBA, the NHL, the NBL, the NFL or NASCAR. Maybe we're just going to have to cut our losses at some point. Perhaps the point is we are all different and we have to deal with it despite the fact of our differences. It seems like a lesson we should have learned in a Dr. Seuss book. A lot of people could do some good and pick up a copy of the Sneetches and read about a group of characters that all looked the same except some had stars in their belly and some didn't. But because they had stars, the star belly sneeches would brag, we're the best kind of sneeches on the beaches. Then some card artist, social justice warrior came to town and promised to make everything equal. And then all hell broke loose and the story resolves when one and all come to the realization that they will never be the same and they have to be fine with that. There are no sneeches who are best on the beaches. Imagine what happens when you are carried away. Once you are 10 or 15 feet off the ground, you are going to get bruised or hit your head. But if you go up and climb a couple hundred feet in the air, you are not going to survive if you let go. In the scheme of things, an all woman cast a reimagining of Ghostbusters isn't going to amount to much. But what was the need? I sensed there was a fire in someone's belly, and if it wasn't made, it would be like they were running through with a broadsword. But this wasn't the first time the feminist log of society was thrown onto the pit of fire. There was the tremendous hard remake of A Wonderful Life titled It Happened One Christmas a literal line-for-line line copy of the original, except George Bailey was played by a woman. Yet in this hellish remake, the things that they didn't bother changing was the villain. They had to make the villain a male, and he had to be white, a rich white male. That sounds familiar. We couldn't have that woman to be uh, a woman instead of 
It couldn't be like Mrs. Potter. It had to be Mr. Potter. Still, we were free to replace the good-natured male angel with a female one. All the good characters are female. All the bad ones are male. Then there was the Cardi Kid, only it wasn't a deletion remake. It was a new movie in the series, The Next Cardi Kid. So this isn't actually an unknown practice. We can see here that Ghostbusters is literally stepping on the old movie in an effort to replace it. Is it the next step to travel back to 1972 and knock out The Godfather? The protagonist could be Michelle Corleone instead of Michael Corleone. And the hot-headed brother that was uh, Sonny could now be Sandra. And she could be cool-headed instead of hot. After that, I think the next choice is Joss. Then the men can stay at home and uh, the women could go fishing. Just because hardly any women are in the fishing industry doesn't mean a woman can't kill a fish in the movies. After all, it's fiction. Then women, because they fight in wars, why not make a remake of Full Metal Jacket with an all-woman cast? But we'll leave in the drill sergeant. We'll make him male because that's so much easier.